Danny Granger's corner. Webster. McGowan. McGowan had a swing at it, and again. And Darren Barr seizes the moment, seizes the cup final. An unlikely scorer. But it's Hart who is strike first on Edinburgh's day of destiny. Well, he's hardly going to miss from there, but Pat Fenlon will be feeling that. First of all, the corner might have been better defended. It's McPake who's picking up Webster. Webster wins the first ball, gets it back into the mix. And Hibbs really should have dealt with this. Couple of chances to get it away, get blocks in, they get nothing on it. And I think it's Kujabi who's playing everyone on site as the ball comes back in. He doesn't clear a six-yard box, he's hanging with that left-hand post. And as it comes back in, it's Kujabi who plays him on site. Can't quite believe his luck here. Darren Bart. His last goal was over two years ago for Falkirk. He certainly picked his day to score his first goal for Hearts. Oh. Driver. Black. Scatchel. Ominous. But took a deflection off the peak. But Rooney Scatchel has had his say. This is the stuff of dreams for hearts and nightmares for hips. Uh, James McPake pays the penalty here. He allows Scatchel to get some and get a shot away. And, you know, deflection or otherwise. McPake, I think, has got to go tighter here and stop the shot. As it comes in, a couple of yards off Scatchel. Goalkeeper, no chance. I think we'll see better from this angle here. Got the shot away really early, and the deflection made all the difference. I think McPake had a, a maroon jersey on his left hand side. He wasn't sure whether to go tight on Scatchel or not. And boy, have they paid for it. Scored 17 goals in his first season at Hearts under George Burley in Italy back in 2005 6. Season that ended with him scoring in the Scottish Cup final, winning the Scottish Cup. It's a familiar feeling for the talented Rudy Scatchell, but it took a horrible deflection off McPake. Hibbs had other ideas, but here is Sousa. And he's still going. Well, it's a tough call for Craig Thompson. I don't know whether he consulted his, with his assistant. It's all down to where the contact is. Is it out or in? If it's on the line, it counts as inside. Well, he did brilliantly, too, so... Well... Yellow card given. Is the contact out or in? I think it's out. And it's Kajabi's second yellow. So he is sent off. And Hibbs, having got themselves back into the cup final, lose a man at the start of the second half and they face a penalty against them well tough call this for Greg Thompson he going to this this tilt here that's the initial contact which was outside there's a little click of the, the left foot as well but it's outside the box Hearts have missed six out of ten penalties this season but here's Danny Granger, he scores! Hearts in the right place, 3-1 up now against the 10 men of Hibs. Well, I've got to say, I don't like short run-ups at penalties, but what a good job he makes of this, Danny Granger. He shaped as if he was going to go to the right and just opened his foot and his body up as he strikes it. Super penalty. And Hearts have some welcome breathing space after Hibbs getting back into it. Perfection from Danny Granger. Hibbs have had their problems with penalties this season, but not today, and he scored his first goal for Hearts. His last goal was for St Johnston 20 months ago. Danny Granger was ineligible when he was at Gretna, and they played Hearts in the 2006 final. Big 
ball. What a big moment. Well, I mean, exactly. It's a tough call for Craig Thompson. I'm not sure whether he took advice from his assistant. And Suso does brilliantly. But the tug is there, and the contact is outside as well. You know, it's a free kick, and it might have been a second yellow, but it's not a penalty. And it may have a huge influence on the outcome of this game. Thompson off to the Euros in the summer. A difficult decision, but an incorrect one. And what a difference it's made after Hibs pulled themselves back into contention. Granger takes this. Skatchel! They've scored again! Ryan McGowan's having that one after Elliot helped it on! And Hearts are staring at Scottish Cup glory! And really rubbing it in against their Edinburgh rivals! Well, Skatchel runs off Lee Griffiths, who just stands and watches him. Just watch Skatchel going into the box. Lee Griffiths could have matched the run. Decided against it, Gary O'Connor can't get out quickly enough. It's an awkward one for Scatchel, he did well to get it on target and Hart's players piling in there for a rebound. And it's sat up beautifully for McGowan. Ryan McGowan. A leap of faith, and at the start of the second half, Hearts have scored two quick goals, him to down to ten men. It might be for Suso we're here now, change of plan. Here is Suso. Could he be about to take his leave? Skatchel. And Rudy Skatchel scores again. Hips humiliated. This is Hearts Cup. Well, you've got to say that the Hearts technical players, the touch players, are having a ball now. Because they've got more space to work in, Hibs look tired. Almost as if they put the tools away. I think this may have been through James McPink's legs here as he struck this. It does. That's well enough struck, but nothing Mark Brown can do. Oh, couldn't be any more accurate, could he? Takes the paint off the inside of the post there. But Skatchel and, and Suzo and the Hacks players of real ability are now turning on big time. He's the man again. Suso takes his leave, having contributed to that fifth goal. 